A quick reminder, if you're enjoying the videos, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Our path to citizenship began 20 years ago with my sister applying to the Brother Sister Visa program for us. These first images are of me greeting my mother, my dad and my sister on our arrival on United States soil 14 years ago. Morning folks. Uh, today's a huge day for Linz and I. This journey started in 2000 when my sister applied for the brother sister visa for us when she became a citizen here in the United States. And we went through many different processes and different visas to finally get here to today. We're taking our civics test. And I think I'm not going to preempt it, but I think they also do the swearing in ceremony once we've passed the civics test and the final interview. I think because of COVID, they've made it all um, Oh, like a one-stop shop kind of thing and uh so i'm just waiting for Lynn's in the car park now she's uh coming um, coming in from work and uh i'll get back to you guys in a little bit once we are citizens of the united states so uh, i'll just show you what, what's in the car park here and where we are while i'm waiting i've got some time to kill and then um i'll, I'll, I'll show you everything that's going on out here okay okay so hang on I'll get out the car so that's, that's the building there. As you can see, it says US Citizenship Immigration Services. Um, oh, how fitting. There goes a military jet flying over. Because Sky Harbor Airport is just up there. Oh, there's Linz. Linz just drove in. And then uh, that's the sign for US Citizenship and Immigration Services. Visit to car parking only. And there's Linz. So we, we can't go in, We've, we can only go in like 10 minutes before our time. So we're just waiting. But what's awesome to see is um, coming, coming out the door, the group before us, all the people coming out and celebrating and just so, so, so stoked to be new Americans. I can't wait for that to be us. And uh, so we're just waiting. Uh, I saw a, 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 an African brother all dressed up in his, in his traditional garb and stuff like that. It was wonderful. So, um, yes, this is very exciting. It's just lovely to see the people's faces and they come out of the door and they're so happy. So we, we, we'll catch up with you guys just now. Look at these guys. Isn't this wonderful? <sighs> Look at those smiles. People are just so happy. This is awesome. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so it is now, what's the time, babe? It's 1.49, we've been here since 10. Um, the first issue we had was the lady at reception made a mistake with us getting in. So she signed Lindsay in and put us on the same number and didn't assign me a number because she thought we were together, which we were. And Lindsay got her interview at about 11.30 and I was waiting and waiting and waiting. Lindsay came out. The guy that interviewed Lindsay said, oh, he must have beaten you. I said, no, I haven't been in yet. And then uh, we, we worked out that, oh, I didn't even have an appointment. So we had to go back to reception and then they called a supervisor and the supervisor came out and he like organized it for me to get an interview. So I've just finished my interview now. The worst thing that's happened is there's been a, a, a glitch. Lindsay passed hers. I went in and she said to me, we can't process you guys because the, the system let you apply one day early. I said, really, one day early? She was like, yeah, so we're gonna have to deny it and you're gonna have to reapply. And we, Lindsay is just, we are just so upset about this. We can't believe this has happened. So we've both done our interviews. We've both passed, we've passed the civics tests. Um, they're gonna, they, they having a look at the system now and seeing if, if there's, there's a way around it because it seems ridiculous that we within the 90 days, we are within the 90 days of applying. And ah, I tell you people, immigration stories, you people, it's harsh. It's way, way harsh. Uh, I, I, I don't even know where to go from here. So we, 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 can, we can appeal it and it's not being denied. We just have to now reapply again, pay more money. And uh, yeah, anyways, so uh, we both passed our civics tests. We both passed our interviews. 
but we have to reapply now because the system there was a glitch in the system there was a problem with the system apparently because january has 31 days and we applied in january and the system's not recognizing it but if you type it into the system and do it any other way it, you within the 90 days so they are looking at it and seeing if they, there's a workaround but uh it doesn't look good it looks like we're gonna have to reapply okay catch you guys later uh we'll do this again <laughs> another date morning folks okay so it's round two of our immigration story uh we were both at work and i just got a call from the supervisor at the immigration building to say um can we come in for a swearing to get sworn in take our oath ceremony now and i said what right now and he said yes as soon as you can so i said well i'm at work in a uniform and can i go home and change he said, sure, you don't have to come today. But I just said, no, 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 we'll come. We'll come right today. As soon as I get home, we'll come. So got hold of Linz. We both took some time off work and we're going to get sworn in to become Americans right now. Uh, so it's round two after that debacle last week. We'll see what happens. I'll record everything for you guys and you can watch us become Americans, hopefully. And uh, what else? Um, oh. You notice it's the same outfit that I was wearing last week because I'm a superstitious guy. So I don't want to jinx anything and change anything because uh, despite what everything happened, the outfit kind of worked because now the outcome is good. So I'll let you know when we get there. Okay, bye. Okay, folks, the drive is now over. We're here at the immigration building. There it is. That's where we are. It's a new day. There's my missus. U.S. Citizen and Immigration Services. Now today, I won't bother like trying to speak to people and stuff because uh, hopefully by the time we come back out, you can speak to two Americans, Dean and Lindsay. Okay, we'll catch you guys later. Okay, folks. When I call you up, please bring your resident cards. <laughs> okay, so we've just handed over our green cards because we were informed that we no longer need them. So uh, that's the next stage. Now we're getting ready to say our oath. So this is the room for the oath ceremony. Obviously because of COVID, everybody has to be social distanced. Raise your right hand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read this to you. You're not required to repeat after me when I get to the very end. All I'm gonna do is ask for you to say I do. I hereby declare on oath that I absolutely and entirely renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince, potentate, state or sovereignty of whom or which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen, that I will support and defend the Constitution and laws of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by the law, that I will perform non-combatant service in the armed forces of the United States when required by the law, that I will perform work of national importance under civilian direction when required by the law, and that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservations or purpose of evasion, so help me God. Please say, I do. I, I do. do. Congratulations, everyone. Yeah. Congratulations, baby. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Be patient with me for one minute longer. We sworn in. Robert. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Have a good day. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. This is Lindsay coming up to get her certificate now. Congratulations. Congrats, babe. Congrats. Thank you. <laughs>